um welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be reviewing the elo sketchbook and also the ohuhu watercolor brush pens that i got recently so first i'm going to talk about the brush pens i got uh the 20 set with the one water brush watercolor brush thing <laughs> um and so here i'm just kind of testing out the blendability some of these blended out nicer than others for example the reds blended out so well as you will see soon um but all the other colors just kind of were subpar they didn't really blend out the greatest and it wasn't because of like sit time or anything like that uh, the reds actually i put first like i swatched them first and then the bottom ones i swatched later so really if that had been the case the bottom ones should have um blended out better than the top ones but um i'm thinking it's just uh something that has to do with pigmentation or something like that um but yeah the black one and then all red ones blended out the nicest um and here's you know as you can see what it looks like so i definitely wouldn't recommend replacing these like replacing your watercolors for these also these kind of remind me of gouache in the sense that they're pigmented and they can also be reactivated so here's just me showing you it like i said they don't blend nicely so don't expect to like come back to a mistake that you made and like erase it with these markers or brush pens or whatever um because as you can see it's not really blending out anything but it does pick up the pigment you're able to kind of reactivate them a little bit. Um, one of the pet peeves that I have with uh, this brand is that they'll name their alcohol-based markers, but not everything else. So I kind of had to do some labels for my dual tip pens that I have, which I won't be doing for this. Um, but here I was just kind of testing out what I could do to create the effect that they had on their their artwork, the one that came with the packaging. But that wasn't the case. I don't know if I did something wrong, but it ended up just looking like I tried to mix a color. Actually, the flower that I do after this looks way better than this, as you will see. In the middle there of that flower that I'm currently blending, it just looks like I left a streak. Because again, these don't blend nicely. And the reds, yeah, they do blend better. But there's like a clear line between the red and the pink as you can see there in the center and that kind of bothers me <laughs> but yeah that lighter flower that I did it did look a million times better and I put less effort and one of the things that I do like about these brush pens is that they blend nicely with each other not with the water brush pen but with each other which is crazy I know <laughs> but um you will see here in a minute how the pink and the red blend very nicely together. Just that blendability is so nice. <laughs> it's also very satisfying to watch back. But that's about it. That's all I would use them for. They obviously don't come in any sort of skin tone or anything like that. So um, I wasn't able to create much as far as realism. Which I talked in my last video, I think that realism is my favorite thing to do. Um, but also, here's another pet peeve that I have, is that the brush pen that comes with the set, the water comes out from the side. I don't know if you guys saw that, but here's another brush pen that I own, and the water comes out from the actual brush nib. As you can see here in the demonstration, it's coming out from the brush nib on the um, brush tip that I got with the set it doesn't do that it comes out from the top and to the side also with these it's very easy to lose your um lid because they don't connect to the other side which you think it would but it doesn't um anyway see here you see me um layering some colors just to see because i know with the new crayola blendable markers you can put one color on top of another to get a completely different color so i was trying to see if i could do that with this one the only thing that it ended up doing was making the green darker as you will see here. <laughs> and I just did not like that. I felt like 
there should be something different. I, I have tried that with different colors. Maybe it's just the color combination that I chose, but with these colors, it did not do that. Also, a pattern that I'm noticing with Ohuhu um, products is that at least one thing comes straight out. And this wasn't actually the only one. Other brush pens came a little bit dried out, like they had been used. This green one was the one that came out fully dried out. But there were other pens that felt lighter than the ones that were juicier. So overall, I would recommend these if you're just barely starting with watercolor, just to get a sense of how to use them or how to create the effect. But I would not recommend to for replacing your actual watercolor paints. Even the cheapest watercolor paints that I've used are better than these. Which says a lot. Um. Anyway, so moving on to my Elo sketchbook. It is amazing. I will be repurchasing after I finish the second sketchbook that I bought. Because I bought two sketchbooks for $30 and it was just a $5 um, shipping fee. Here, like, I mean, just the pages are very strong. Um, however, if you are going to be doing watercolor, you do want to be a little bit careful. Um, so this pocket that I'm showing here, I'm going to, I'm planning on putting my Derwent Intense watercolor travel pan set thing <laughs> that I got in the mail so that I can travel around with watercolors. The uh, paper is pretty sturdy. It does lay pretty flat so you can do like an all across spread. However, with watercolors, like I was saying, you do have to be careful because the paper underneath does get wet. So what I like to do is I like to put a paper towel underneath and then that way when I'm watercoloring, the paper underneath doesn't get wet. And also, it does buckle, and when you do a lot of swirly motions, um, it the paper does flake off. So you do want to be careful with that. As you can see, the paper does buckle. You do want to be careful with the amount of water that you're putting in there. For a few sketches, definitely totally do that, but you don't want to go overboard. So anyways, that is the end of the video. <laughs> Thank you for watching, um, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.